but you will live in eternity. I want to go back to that picture. The angels are looking at this picture. May it, maybe be, it might be a motion picture, but it's still a picture. Who are we? What are we doing? You know, in heaven, it, it, we're going to go to other worlds. We're going to tell people about this experience. We're, 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 we have something that, that they don't really get. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's easy to look at a picture and say, oh, wow, it's beautiful, but, but you, you, if you were there, you can, you can say things about it. You, you understand more about it. We're that people. It's going to be such a blessing to be in heaven and to do God's work, and everything's going to be so easy then. Can't we give him this little bit of time now to just lay it down and stop holding back? What is it we're holding back? Something. I found in my own life, you know, whenever you hold something back, it's always the best part, isn't it? That's who we are. That's who we are. Just give the best part to Jesus and be done with it. Because if you don't, then the devil's got a right to walk through that property to get to what's his. You follow me? And he'll make a mess with everything sacred on his way to his piece of property. Even on this planet, right here. If you own a piece of property, you ever have to have a right to get to it, right? Let us give unto Caesar what is Caesar's. And let us give unto God what is God's. Let's go to verse 16. Now to Abraham and his seed were the promises made. He saith not and to seeds as of many, but as, as of one, and to thy seed, which is what? Christ. 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 How, many, how many of the Christian world are, are, are focused on Israel? The devil loves that. What did that verse just say? Christ is the seed. Let's skip down to 22. But the scripture hath concluded all under sin, that the promise of faith, of the promise by faith of Jesus Christ might be given to them that believe. But before faith came, we were kept under the law, shut up unto the unto the faith, which should afterwards be revealed. Wherefore the law was our schoolmaster to bring us unto Christ that we might be justified by faith. But after that faith is come, we are no longer under the schoolmaster. For ye are all the children of God by the faith in Christ Jesus. For as many of you as have been baptized into Christ have put on Christ. There is neither Jew nor Greek, there is neither bond nor free, there is neither male nor female, for ye are all one in Christ Jesus. And if ye be Christ, then ye are Abraham's seed and heirs according to the gospel. Is that good news? Amen. That's very good news. It doesn't get any better than that. So why, why do we allow schools of thought to, to put us in different camps. And why, why do we listen to garbage? You know? Oh, well, if you have blue eyes and you're smarter, but the people with brown eyes, they're, they're dumb people. Or you're, you have this color or that color or whatever. Are you ridiculous? This is the way that people are taught to think. We have to give out rewards now to certain uh, types of people. I, I, don't, I don't understand it. We ought to buck up against this stupidness. Free your mind. Don't get caught up in this garbage that's going on in this world. You're supposed to be ambassadors of Christ. This is not our home. Okay? This is not our home. We have to represent Jesus Christ in another world. Turn to 2 Corinthians. Second Corinthians chapter 5. 
You all there? All right. Verse 21. For he hath made him to be sin for us, who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. Amen. 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 In Christ, therefore, it is possible for us to be made perfect. You hear that? In Christ, it is possible for us to be made perfect. The righteousness of God. You believe that? Amen. Turn to Romans. Romans chapter 8. Like I said, I'm not here to tell you what the Bible says. I'm here just to read some scriptures. I'm just a lonely beggar looking for food just like the rest of you. Let's start at verse 1. There is therefore now no condemnation. Did you hear that? Does that mean any? It says no. Right? No condemnation to them which are what? In Christ Jesus. You hear that motif that keeps coming in Christ, the faith, in, you know, faith in, in, not just in Jesus, but the faith of Jesus needs to be alive in you. Which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus, there's the word in again, hath made me free from the law of sin and death. You hear that? Amen. The freedom is in Christ. Amen. Jesus Christ breaks the chain, brothers and sisters. <laughs> you know, it's really kind of odd, though, because the devil says, well, come up out of that prison and be free. And God says, come into this prison and be free. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus hath made me free from the law of sin and death. For what the law could not do in that it was weak through the flesh, God sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin condemned sin in the flesh. She's all right. <laughs> That the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Amen? Amen. Yeah. All right. I'm going to read this little thing here, and then we're going to close it. What could not the law do? It could not free a single guilty soul from condemnation. Why not? Because it was weak through the flesh. There is no element of weakness in the law. Did you hear me? The weakness is in the flesh. It is not the fault of a good tool that it cannot make a sound pillar out of a rotten stick. The law could not cleanse a man's past record and make him sinless. And poor, fallen man had no strength resting in his flesh to enable him to keep the law. And so God imputes to the believer the righteousness of Christ. Amen. If you heard nothing else today, I hope you heard that. Who was made in the likeness of sinful flesh. So that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in their lives. Amen. And thus Christ is the end of the law. Amen. To conclude then, we have found that the design of the law was that it should give life because of obedience. All men have sinned and have been sentenced to death, but Christ took upon himself man's nature and will impart of his own righteousness to those who accept his sacrifice. And finally, when they stand through him as doers of the law, he will fulfill to them its ultimate object by crowning them with eternal life. And so we repeat what we cannot too fully appreciate, that Christ is made unto us wisdom and righteousness 
and sanctification and redemption. Amen. Our closing song will be 369. <laughs> Thank you.